Welcome to One Mind Zen. Tonight's Dharma talk is given by Johnson Sunmin Miller. You can, can you all hear that okay? That comes through? All right. And I know that's, you know, standard, even cliche sort of Zen teaching tool um, and, you know, beaten for the stick, but I'm totally going to use it tonight. Uh, you know, so what is it? Of course, it's just that. Uh, but what else is going on around here? Uh, so you, you hear the sound, but it points to the self because it's I am hearing it. Um, the sound and the sense of self emerging at the same time. And this is true of all experiential phenomena with all the six senses, and the six including the um, uh, experience of thought. Um, and so if you're so inclined during the next meditation session, you could have just go through all six of the senses in sequence. Um, you know, just go, you know, go head to head to toe with uh, all the various body, you know, the touch sensations and through you know hearing and seeing, smelling, tasting, knowing thoughts, and and notice how the way that each of them draws to self within this bounded experience of uh, within the bounds of what our body can feel. Um, and see that experience that sense of self emerging out of that. All right, but what else is going on? Um, so there's no objective sound, um, you know, this sound as a thing uh, being heard by some objective eye as, as a thing. Um, so I think about everything that's going on in this experience of this phenomenon. Um, so, our ears and our brains have particular structures. So think of the billions of years of evolution that took for that to happen. Right? That's a lot of things going on to experience that thing that we then conceptualize as sound. Um, and then um, also the billions of years of astronomical, geological, biological processes going on such that the earth ends up with the, the atmosphere it does and therefore the air pressure that it does, which of course is the medium for, uh, for sound waves. Uh, all of that could have been different. But in, literally infinite number of things happening uh, to get us to this point. And then um, we all have you know, different computers and speakers that are processing sound differently. So it's coming to us differently. We all have different ears. Um, so there's, um, so not just our, so there's a, you know, infinite number of things going on to get us to, uh, to hear this. Um, and, um, well, and it's, I mean, it's not just us, I think, you know, like the stick, um, it comes from a particular tree. So first of all, particular species. So again, going back to billions of years of evolution. Um, but you know, what if my uh, teacher hadn't given me this, give me a different stick, or I found a different stick? Uh, his daddy cut it for him. What if he'd pick a, a different branch or a different tree? Right, that would produce a different tone, um, with a different different weight, different density, and sound would all be different. The cultural and technological changes, events that take place for um, ending up with the rug that I have that helps you know give this particular sound. Um, all the events leading me to being here tonight, leading you to being here. So an infinite number of conditions existing. And then each of us is experiencing this differently. It's not the same phenomenon. That's a bunch of different phenomena for us each individually. Um, because, you know, again, different speakers, different ears, different experiences, shaping how we perceive things. And then each that I've done tonight is also different. Different amount of force, uh, holding the stick in a different place, hitting the ground in a different place. Um, but each arises through the interpenetration of everything. All those conditions through all of time. That's everything. 
That's emptiness. There's no sound. It's, um, it's the emergence of phenomena through infinite conditions. It is those conditions. There's no separation between the conditions and the, and that's a, the conditions is exactly what that is. Um, and therefore it's not separate from us, right? Because the phenomena, it, all the, the conditions that go into the phenomena are, you know, the particular structures of individual ears. Um, our past experiences to shape how we, uh, how we perceive sound, their brain structures, and so forth. So that's everything. That's empty. That's us. We're empty. Uh, so if you're so inclined, uh, you, in the next meditation session, you could meditate on the rising of phenomena. Um, perhaps best picking some intermittent um, phenomenon. So if, let's see, we don't have anybody across the other side of the world tonight. You might hear the chirping of morning birds, uh, but could be cars going by, um, a heartbeat, whether, you know, feeling it or hearing it, um, thoughts arising intermittently, any intermittent phenomena or a constant phenomenon if, if necessary, and you know, the physical feeling of the body, breathing. Um, experiencing all those phenomena as inter the interpenetration of all things, um, as the as all of the conditions simultaneously arising, with no boundary between the self and the phenomenon.